Hi, my name is Devin Knight, and welcome to another Pragmatic Minute. Today we're going to talk about how reporting services subscriptions work. So let's talk a little bit about reporting services. You've learned a little bit about that in some of our previous Pragmatic Minutes, but let's just talk about that kind of typical environment that you'd see. You have your report, so that will be depicted by this box I have here with your data in it. And then you have your user that's going to access that report some way. So I'll draw my user over here. And he's going to find some way to view that report. So in this example, this will be the typical example, you have your user and he's accessing some kind of web uh, browser or he's using some way to actually look at those reports using maybe a report viewer, report manager, or even some kind of application that you've designed to specifically show those reports. Now what reporting services subscriptions are going to allow you to do is reverse these roles. Make it so that reporting services are doing all the work and your users are just going to be able to sit back and wait for those reports to come to them instead of having to go to them themselves. So, there's two ways that you can do subscriptions. The first way that I'll talk about is going to be the email way. So I can make it so that my report server, so this is my report server on the left, and my report server is going to deliver those uh, emails that contain my report already rendered and put into the format that they want, whether it's PDF or Excel, it's going to send that user an email so that they don't even have to go and access the database. Now it's sent directly to them. So this is via email. The other method that you can do is by sending, you can send a report to a, a Windows file share folder. So you can have a folder out here. I'll do my best job of drawing a folder. And you can have the report server actually deliver that report, whether again, whether you have it in the PDF format, Excel, or whatever you decide. And you can have the report server deliver that report to that Windows file share folder. Now, what, ob, there's some obvious benefits to both of these. So this is the folder method. There's the obvious benefit that you don't have your user having to access that report server all the time. So uh, it's saving them time, they, they're used to checking their email of course, they can find that right away, they can, you could also give them a file folder that they want to check all the time. But there's also the benefit that of, of performance. If you have reports that take quite a while to render, the, the subscriptions are actually going to pre-render the report before it sends it to them. So it's going to send it to them as if you had uh, exported the report when they were viewing it on the report manager. So it's going to send them that Excel or PDF file that has all the results that they need. Now there's several caveats to using subscriptions. Now the first one I'll kind of write out here. The first one is going to be if you're using email. So if you're using email you must set up SMTP. So the SMTP server, your, your email server, must be set up on the report uh, server configuration to be able to use the email method. For file folders, so if you're trying to send it to a file folder, then you must enable sharing on that folder. So enable sharing. This way, that file folder can be accessed from any machine. It's set up for sharing. So if you, whenever this, this uh, service runs, it's going to send it to that file folder as long as sharing is enabled. Now the last two caveats I'm going to share with you are, are not exclusive to either one of these. It's going to be, uh, if you're using email or the folder method, you're going to need to uh, do these last two configurations regardless. And that is the first one is about the data source that's used in your report. So let's say this data, this report that's being generated is a human resources uh, report. And the data source that's being used is our HR database. So I'll say HRDB, and that is our data source. Now, the data source that you use must use SQL authentication to access that report or to bring back the data. Uh, and this is specific to subscriptions. You cannot have a Windows uh, authenticated account that's trying to hit that uh, data source if you want to use subscriptions. It's mainly because you're doing all this stuff remotely, you're not going to have some kind of Windows account that can do that for you. So number three would be SQL authentication on data source. The last one, the last thing to remember that you have to do for subscriptions has to do with your SQL Server agent account, or your SQL Server agent that you have running on your database engine. So even though we're talking about reporting services, you still need to have uh, a little interaction with your database engine. And this is with the SQL Server agent. Now all of this information, all of this, this, this uh, garbage that I have up here that has to do with subscriptions requires the SQL Server agent to run. 
So anytime you create a subscription, it's going to create a new job in your SQL Server agent. And anytime that, that subscription is scheduled to run, by the way, you, you can schedule these to run at any time that you want, whether you want, want it once a week or once a month, that SQL Server agent is going to kick off whenever that schedule comes around. So you obviously, you must have the SQL Server agent running if you want to perform all this. So must have agent running. And those are your four requirements or four prerequisites that you must have set before you can use subscriptions. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Pragmatic Minute. My name is again Devin Knight. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at dknight at pragmaticworks.com.